You're wasting you your time. Your Get on with your life. I'm wasting my time. Um, so, honest, that was 20 years ago. I've been happy ever since. And what, God's changed your life? I don't go around bashing everybody with it, but I know where I'm going. Yeah, but my friend, so you're a Christian? I know where I'm yeah. going. What's your name, sorry? Paul. Paul, I'm Joe. Paul, if you saw a baby in that road over there, what would you do? Nothing, I wouldn't. I wouldn't you just leave the baby in the middle of the roads? Oh, in the road? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, you, you, you pick it up, so okay. Now, I honestly, I know it sounds crazy, I honestly believe that the people are pressing, it's that baby, there is a judgment that is coming, and those without Christ, they will face that judgment for all eternity. And I, I, I've got a conscience, and that's why I'm sharing people. I know you might say I'm bashing people there. As no, no, I said... No, no, it's not bashing. Yeah. Honest, what you're trying to do is brilliant. No, well, thank you. I appreciate. They found it themselves. I, I agree with that. The atheist doesn't want to believe unless they believe. But it doesn't mean Spurgeon. There's a preacher called Spurgeon. He said, if people want to be damned, if they want to go to hell, let them at least jump over our bodies yeah. if they're on the way there. And I'm just saying, I'll stand here Brian, and I'll so take it. Listen, on, I stood really here about six years ago and. I got pushed off a box here. You know, as I said, I was in Manchester just last week. A man came in to shoplift. He heard the gospel and he said, I'm not going to shoplift. I'm saved now. Yeah. There is hope. Yeah, and I don't know. Some days it's a bad day. Some days it's a good day. I bet yeah. you have done it. You are? I got pushed off a bench actually at the top there when I started yeah. preaching. Okay, so Similarly, it's all we're trying to say, guys, for those of you who are going to stop in a second, but we're not saying we're better than you. We're sinners. We've broken God's laws. We've made a mess. I've made my wife cry, as I was saying before. I've done wrong things, done all kinds of bad things. But the Son of God, Jesus Christ, has washed away all of my sins. The Bible says without the shedding of blood, there can be no forgiveness of sins. And Christ shed his blood on that cross to wash me whiter than snow. Just like you see, you know, if you go to the rubbish tip on Christmas Day and there's loads of snow on it, it makes all that rubbish look clean and so the blood of Jesus Christ it can make you clean and wash away your sins come to him today he'll forgive you he gives you a tremendous life he gives you wonderful cleansing can't ask one question and then when someone asks another go on a completely different I've answered your question no, you're not. so what what you, you, you can take my hope. answer all this a simple question in return in regard to the question about hope and when you mentioned hospital and all that yeah and you're completely gone on you can take my answer or leave it your hair Wrinkles. Oh. What on earth is that got? Because that gives us hope. No, it, it gives us do. hope. What, it does give us hope. And then you're not listening because you're not. I'm trying to explain to you. You're a dying man. You are dying. You're asking about yeah. hope, hi, Joe. Yeah, I hear Chris. You're all right, Reese. You're, you're all right. About hope. So, so when we make a doctor's appointment, if we've got a problem with us, yeah, what are our aspects and our intentions when we go into that doctor? Hopefully, we'll get better. Yeah. So, so you you have hope. You know that that doctor can resurrect you from that sickness and that pain. Yeah, but no, but that wasn't. Right. Can, can I can I just come over here? I, ch I will give you some hope. Do you want me to give you some hope then? These two men. This is Reese and this is Chris. I don't think they'll mind me saying. How many years did you smoke crack for, Chris? I, I, that, just uh, I, I, I twenty odd years. I, I, yeah, yeah. How many? How many years? Twenty odd years. And I, I, what, what drugs are you on, Reese? Crack and heroin. Crack and heroin. For those of you saying God doesn't exist, you explain how these two men, they've been to prison, the, the Lord has changed their lives. How are these two men, and they stand on this, like they're going to they're going to preach after me now. Uh, how has God changed their lives? I didn't even know they were here today. My my atheist friends, Jack, Jack, oh right, Jack, stay here. Just meet my two friends here, Reese, Reese, and and, and Chris. Bill will meet him. Bill will meet him. Okay, Bill will meet him. Chris, just tell the people again. How many years did you smoke crack for? Twenty plus years. How long did you go to jail for? I, my last prison sentence was 12 years. 12 years. Reese, what, what were you on? Uh, well, do you know what? God looked after me, so I didn't go to prison, but I was in and out of yeah. being locked up. But God, God changed your two's lives, and he's turned it upside down. And for you to say that God doesn't exist, it's kind of insulting to us, really. Did what, what did it that changed these people? And I'm saying, when you answer, go back to your question of hope. Jesus gives people hope because Jesus went into that grave flat line. He rose from the dead. He can give us. Wait, I'm fit. I'm. Let me speak because you no. say I don't answer your question. No. He can give you hope over addiction. He can give you a hope. You've completely changed. You can't ask the first single thing. He's a. Uh, he's here to preach candidate. the gospel. He's what is it? What what answer do you want me to? What answer is it? When you mention the hospital and all that. Yeah, and I'm saying a dying man in hospital. Okay. I'm saying a dying man in hospital. What hope does he want? So the beginning of this year I had cancer. No, no. Growth on my lung. He's there telling everyone here. Yeah, and then I ask him so one, he's getting I'm, other people I'm involved. No. I'm, no. <laughs> what I believe in, you help the man to your left. Same for people go to war. You're not going to war for any other fucking. Go to the person to the man to your left and the right. He couldn't even answer that. I can answer it, right. I, 
Listen, I, I, I'm getting everyone else involved because this is a public debate. This is a public street. This isn't a private conversation. Salvation is through Jesus Christ. Yes, I said it. And the word of God says it. Repent and believe in the gospel of Jesus. It does not say repent and believe in the gospel according to Harry Kushner. It does not say repent and believe in the gospel according to Buddha. It does not say repent and believe in the gospel according to the Pope. It does not say repent and believe in the gospel of Muhammad. It says no, repent and believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. There is no other name under the heavens that you can be saved by. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life, that no man can come to the Father in heaven unless he cometh through me. My friends, my friends, time is running out. Tomorrow is never promised to any one of us. And if you was to die in your sleep tonight, and you was to stand before a holy God, a righteous God, and you give an account of how you've lived your life on earth. Would you be going up or would you be going down? And I don't mean on a fancy holiday to Australia down under. <laughs> I mean to a place where the Bible says there will be a weeping and a gnashing of the teeth, a permanent torment, a permanent punishment. I have people say to me here whilst I'm preaching that they can't wait to go to hell because it's going to be a party. Let me tell you, good people of Preston, there is no party in hell. It's only a permanent punishment. And I want you to know today, that the only way that you can be saved is through Jesus Christ. He is the only one that came with a salvation plan. There is no up from the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is no salvation. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, what's your name, Roy?